What's up guys, it's Thursday, my icebreaker, and we're gonna do Wall Factory. So let's jump in and see what she's got this week. Okay, so this is this week's Wall Factory. You can see we've got the core over on this side. Uh, the shield gens are up here by the mortars. And we've got a million Simos, which isn't ideal. But it's not the end of the world. We can clear all that pretty easily with um, our ZCM, perhaps, and bite out this laser beam. Um, gonna have to watch the landing because Sparky will take a hit. So I'm thinking um, RZCM with um, shock knuckles or taunt. So we'll load up RZCM. And let's go shot knuckles for a change, shall we guys? Let's um, do something a little different. You can see I'm on my crab account this week. I've, um, I'm not able to get on my other account right this second, so we're gonna have to use this one. Um, I'm gonna swap a boat of rifles out for um, a boat of gramps. So we've got two boats of rifles, three boats of zookas, boat of cryos, boat of gramps, and a boat of medics. Um, unboosted. Uh, there is a way of doing this one with AZ if that's what you wanted to do. You can come up here and clear all of this stuff here quite easily. Um, if you smoke all Zookas up into this corner back here, you need to tag this end rocket launcher with an arty, flare onto this rocket launcher with bullet and taunt, so that when the smoke clears, the taunt activates in all of these. They'll kill the uh, rocket launcher you flared first and then clear the second one you tagged. And then you can just let them clear there with all the rest of them taunted and they won't move. And then come up for um, the gens if you wanted to do it that way. But we're going to just go out all at it. Uh, I'm just going to kick the front door in. We're going to bark this laser um, as early as possible. I'm going to farm up a little bit of GBE. So let's, uh, let's get on it. So, Boto Gramps up here just to farm up some GBE for us while they're doing that we can go ahead and clear the mines and start dumping some GBE on this laser just like that and once the gramps there have picked up a bit more GBE for us we can drop the troops we need to shock the flamethrowers straight away because they'll just burn through all of our zookas and that otherwise. So what I'm gonna do is, box of critters and a shock on the flamethrowers. I'm gonna drop all the troops. And then we just need to keep those flamethrowers there shocked. Like so. Like I said, they will rip through they will rip through the uh, troops really quick. Obviously the Simos are gonna take out quite a lot quite early on. Um, so we'll see how we get, see how we look when we get to core. And we can use shock knuckles left to shock them up. Bullet is gonna take a nap. There goes Bullet, but we've made a dent. We're, uh, we're clearing away now. The Simos are gonna target the uh, rifles protecting the Zookas. They'll also target the, the um, cryos pretty quick as well. So once the um, cryos are all gone, obviously they're going to come back to life. The Simos are going to come back to life quite quick. So you want to be keeping critters down as much as possible because they'll target the critters over anything else. You see, watching those back lasers there with critters. But that's. Uh, that's the first attack there, guys. Next one is literally just a case of going in and finishing off what we started. Get that back. Yeah, get that back one. We can drop these couple of arties on, on there. And then once those last couple of troops have died, we can go again. So we'll reload. This time I'm gonna take Three boats of gramps. I 
and that we take four boat scramps. Like so and it's just a case of getting rid of that Simo. This one here. A couple of sniper towers. We can use bullet to shock the shock launcher. But I think the gramps are going to be out of range of that anyway. So it's not a big deal. So we're going to flare over to here. I'm going to put a box of critters and some smoke on the Simo. Just let the troops get into position. Once they uh, need to watch those lasers. The bullets just got shocked up, which isn't good. But the simo's down, which means we can flare back now. Get a shock on that on that laser and the shock launcher at the back there. Need to look after the gramps. We'll see that the um, the rifles and bullet is going to attract the attention from that laser beam. So you need to watch that guy. He's probably better off with brick for the second attack. But you can see we've got all the gramps down here, nice and safe anyway. We're going to pound away on the core and get it down. You can see the shock launcher is more interested in bullet. But we can shock it with shock knuckles if we wanted to. So there you have it in guys. That's this week's War Factory. Sorry if the audio sounds a bit rubbish today. I'm sat in the car waiting for my RAF uh, recording War Factory for you guys. So there it is guys. I hope you get it down. Post some videos in the group. Leave us a comment if you did it a different way. And I will catch you next time.